Hi everybody, my name is Nanika Edwards. I'm a poet, author, well, I wear many different hats, and I'm from Trinidad and Tobago in the Caribbean. In today's video, I'm sharing a saying or a proverb from my culture, from the culture of Trinidad, from the culture of Trinidad and Tobago. And this is the proverb, is only tree with mango did us pelt, or is only tree with mango will go get pelt. Is only tree with mango did us pelt, or it's only trees with mangoes that get stoned, or it's only a tree with mango that gets stoned, you know, that people would pick up stones to pelt. <laughs> is only tree with plenty mango does get pelt. It's only trees with a lot of mangoes that people pick up stones to pelt. Um, what does this mean? This simply means that a person, like the, the, the mango tree, the tree with mangoes really represents a person and a particular type of person. Somebody who is fruitful fruitful maybe in character maybe they have the the fruit of the spirit if you want to put it like that if you want to really get technical so in the bible in the book of galatians galatians 5:22 i think 5:22 or 5:22 to 5:23 the fruit of the spirit are listed love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And it's very rare that one person, a single person, would exhibit most of these, if not maybe all of them. So, so when people meet somebody who has a lot of really, who has many attractive character traits, very often this would... Um, lead people to feel envious, hostile, um, because they think, how come that person has those things and I don't have them? And therefore, they may look to attack that person, give them a hard time, right? Maybe some of you, even though you're young, you may have experienced some of this to some extent, maybe on one side of the divide or, or the other. So... If somebody is fruitful, maybe in terms of their character, they may become the target of hostility and enmity. So they would be like the mango tree that produces a lot of fruit that people would want to attack with stones, maybe with unkind words or unkind deeds. Fruitfulness could also represent being fruitful in things that we produce. You know, maybe you might be a very creative person and you make a lot of beautiful things. And this too can cause other people to become envious. They may think, how come he or she can do those things and I cannot? And they may get angry with you. And just know that if people feel this way, it's not your fault. It has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with other people and the relationship that they have with themselves. Sometimes when, when people meet somebody who makes a greater effort to be the best that they can be, it shows up the laziness or the insecurity or the shortcomings of other people. Things that they have control over, but that sometimes they just don't bother to really, um, to really manage properly. So sometimes people are angry when other people are fruitful, you know, usually in terms of character or in terms of talent, but it could be other things too. It could be if you're popular, you know, you have a lot of friends, so your friends could be like all the fruits on your tree, you know, all the fruits on the tree that you represent. It could be that you're very popular, you have a lot of friends, or maybe you're very attractive, very handsome or very beautiful that too can lead people to become envious. So it could be 
anything, anything that makes you stand out from the crowd could make you metaphorically like a mango tree with lots of fruit. Of course, it doesn't have to be a mango tree, but we're in the Caribbean, so, you know, we are mango people, <laughs> mango-loving people. Um, so, is only tree with mango they does pelt means like, you know, in in long time, maybe even now, if a tree has fruit and you want to get the fruit and let's say the tree is very tall, let's say, let's say a tree has a lot of fruit, typically people might stone a tree to get the fruit to fall, right? Maybe, I think that's how it was in the old days, I'm not too sure, maybe even now. But what it really means is, if somebody sees that you have a lot going on, that you have a lot going for you, they may try to hurt you in some way to make you feel bad or to make you lose some of what you have in one way or another. So they'll pick up a metaphorical, a symbolic stone of sorts to fling at you, to make you feel bad, to bring you down, to make you lose some of your fruit, you know, that kind of thing. The unfortunate thing is in this world, there are good people and there are bad people. Some people are good, some people are bad. Some people are kind, some people are cruel. And so you just have to be prepared for this. If you find yourself in this situation, I would encourage you, speak with somebody that you trust, your parents maybe, or an aunt, an uncle, a cousin, a friend somebody that you trust who can encourage you, comfort you, give you good advice. I have experienced this many times because I am very much like that tree, that mango tree with a lot of fruit. I have a lot of different talents. I'm an artist, for example. I'm a poet, among other things. And if we just take my artist hat or my artist tree and my poet tree, they both have a lot of fruit. I've written hundreds of beautiful poems. I produce lots of beautiful artwork. I have many different collections of art that I've produced that are beautiful, original, lovely. And unfortunately, not only do they sometimes make people feel uncomfortable and insecure, even though I don't set about to make people feel that way, it does make them feel uncomfortable and sometimes to the extent where they decide that they're going to give me a hard time. The way that I deal with that is by talking to God. God is my best friend and I simply take the advice that he gives me. And he says, Nika, basically this is what he tells me, but I'm paraphrasing. Keep producing your fruit. Don't worry about these people. However they feel, that's for them to deal with. It's not for you to worry about. So you keep producing fruit because this fruit that I gave you is a gift from me. You know, um, as I've heard one person say, when people are envious of us, when people are envious about what we have, very often they're really angry with God but, you know, people can't take it out on God, so they will take it out on the person that he gives these lovely gifts to. And um, so sometimes that's what's really going on. So it's only tree with mango, they does pelt. If somebody, you know, is, you know, is not doing anything particularly special, if somebody is not taking the time to develop their talent and their giftings and so on, they're going to be a mango tree with probably very little mango or no mango at all. Very few mangoes or no mangoes at all. And people will not have a problem with them because they don't necessarily, in their mind, put them in the shade, right? So these people will tend to, you know, not have that much of a hard time. But for people who make extraordinary choices that other people, that most people typically would not make either because they're too lazy or they're too insecure or for whatever reason, these people are going to resent, very often they will resent the fact that you are producing fruit that they should be producing. So it's not on you. We each have a responsibility to develop what God has entrusted to us. If we don't, that's on us. That's on us. So 
So I can tell you from my experience, I simply try my best to ignore people if I make them uncomfortable. I value the people who can appreciate who I am and my fruitfulness without getting angry about it. And there will be people like that. Some people will love what you do and love who you are and be supportive. And some people will not. But the key is to just be faithful to your process. Continue producing. Don't let people rob you of the joy. Don't let wicked or insecure or selfish, lazy people rob you of the joy of being who you are. Because that is a gift from God. That's a gift from God. So keep producing your fruit if you are fruitful. And if you're not, I would really encourage you to focus on your talents or focus on the things, the attributes, the qualities that you can develop that would make you a fruitful tree that you can be happy about. So that's it. It's only tree with mango they does pelt. If people pelt in you because you have plenty mango, right? If people are, you know, calling you names or giving you a hard time or, you know, take it as a compliment. It means you're doing something right. So now you understand the saying or proverb is only tree with plenty mango does get pelt. It's only trees with a lot of mangoes that people pick up stones to pelt. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was encouraging. If you enjoyed this and would like to see others like it, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Until next time.